Welcome back. So in the last episode, we set up our SVGs. We have an eye and we have a head. We did it pretty quickly and it looks like this. So the next thing we wanna do is set up some of our HTML. So to do that, I'm going to save a new document with Sublime. So I'll say new file, I'll say save, and I'm gonna store it on my desktop just to work from my desktop, but you could be working from any folder. And I'm gonna say this is index.html. Again, you're gonna need some basics of HTML to go through this. So if you're uncomfortable with some of this, take out a, check out another series here on Code Time for setting up HTML. I'm gonna do exclamation mark tab, that comes along with Emmet. If you install uh, Sublime and Emmet, uh, you'll be able to get that sort of control. And you can take a look at Sublime here on Code Time for getting that configured. Okay, so here's some of my code. I wanna go and add a couple things. I need to add Vue.js. I'm gonna add Tailwind CSS in this as well. Tailwind CSS is a CSS framework. It's gonna make it a little easier for us to write some code. So let's go grab those things. Tailwind CSS. I wrote that too many S's in there. So here's Tailwind CSS. We'll click on installation and we'll grab Tailwind CSS. So that's Tailwind CSS installation and we'll grab it. CSS goes in the head. Next thing we need to open up a script tag here. We'll need to get a uh, Vue.js. So I'll click on the get started button and then kind of scroll down and it gives you a bit of Vue.js code via CDN. Both of these will be CDNs. So I'll include the script for Vue.js. Then in the script section here, if I scroll down, they give you a little bit of sample copy here for our Vue, right, that we can go and spin up. Next, I need a div ID of message, and I'll put this here. What I like to do is in the body tag, I might set up something like bg hyphen gray. And then in the div ID of app here, I might give this a class and say something like, h hyphen screen, uh, width is full, and it's bg, uh, I'll do not width, I'll do something like, mm, I'll put a container on it and say mx auto. These are Tailwind classes, Tailwind's a utility-based CSS framework, so the intention there is there's a bunch of CSS classes that are already created, you're just referencing them. You can think of this something like Bootstrap, but instead of sort of a class like btn, which already exists, you would write bg-primary, uh, that sort of thing, you would write the color that you're using. So bg-blue, text-white, font-bold, et cetera. And you can take a look at, at various series here on Code Time for Tailwind CSS. Okay, so once this is done, I can drag this into the browser window. I'm using Firefox and you'll see this, it says hello view. I'm gonna, so you can see this, I'm gonna set this to bg-white. And you'll see that now I have a white container in a gray box here. And the container is set automatically to be responsive inside Tailwind, like so. Great. The next thing I wanna do is just make sure my view code is working. And I can tell that it's working because I have hello view. I just, just know that that's working because that's how view works, right? We have our model down here where it says message and says hello view. And then up here we're referencing that model as message. And the next thing I like to do is set up an input field and then I'll bind v hyphen model the message to it. So this is our message value. Here's the message here. Now if I save this and refresh, you'll see it says hello view in this input field and this is the text here. To kind of show some separation, I'm gonna make this an h1 and put the message value inside of it. And then the input field, I'm gonna give it some basic styling. I'll say something like P hyphen four, so padding four all the way around. I'll say border, and then maybe border gray. Again, these are tailwind classes. Now, if you refresh, you'll see hello view, and I'll have a simple input field. View right does our data binding, so as we change the values here, let's say I said blue, it changes the value to blue. Another thing that I like to set up very quickly is a V model. I'm gonna say BG color for background color. And instead of putting these classes on here like this, I'm just going to use the browser default color picker. So I'll change the type from text to color, and that'll get us a basic color picker. So I'll go down here, I'll make our model called BG color. 
and I'll set the default value to blue, let's say. And that's with strings around it. Okay. Next, I wanna bind the BG color to our app here, which is currently white. I'd like to change its background color. Just so you can see what we got, this is the color picker. It opens up a browser color picker. Not all the browsers, I believe, have color pickers still, but I think they're on their way to doing it. If you need a color picker, like that's gonna work and it's gonna be consistent in style, take a look at some color pickers that are written in JavaScript uh, that might help you out with that. Okay, here's our, our task. We're gonna change the background color of this. Again, some very basic view. So I'll take off the background white, and then I'll say something like, uh, v hyphen bind colon style equals uh, quotations curly brackets and then I would specify here background color this is going to be camel case syntax colon and then our color that we set up which was the bg color here so now if we re refresh this you'll see that it's blue if I check the color and I change the color the color now changes so that's done with our V binding style. And that's probably the, the most essential thing that you're gonna do with working with SVGs is you're gonna be binding style attributes on the SVGs themselves. So now that we have our basic view code set up and I got some basics of text for message and another one for BG color, I'm going to integrate the SVGs next into the page. To do that though, I wanna sort of separate this. So I'm gonna put that on the next video. Um, so you should have at this point your view code set up, your tailwind code set up, and made a working example and you know everything's working. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at that.